I wasn't going to do it. I told myself not to do it. But what did I do? Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to join me. So, a couple of weeks ago, while I was browsing for a couple of parts for the BD-8, I was on MB Models. And all of a sudden, a couple of the Yokomo groups that I'm part of start posting, saying MB Models have got a special deal on. What was said special deal? Well, it was a deal that I thought I should be able to resist. It turns out I couldn't. So now, here we are with the Yokomo BD-11. Now, this isn't the latest chassis from Yokomo. Obviously, at the minute, we've got the BD-12, which is doing fantastic all over the world. However, this chassis is only a couple of years old. There's still lots of parts available for it. Unlike my BD-7 and 8, which you struggle from time to time to see parts, it's only two years old. What's even better, it was retailing when it first came out at £699. This was a steal. I got this for pretty much £250, which for a brand new two-year-old chassis, you can't sniff at that. So let's get it open, see what's inside the box. So, it's all nicely packaged in there. Let's move this to the side and then we can place some bags out. I think that might be the easiest bet. Got a big bag of screws. Ooh, that's short shocks. Our shocks. We've got our body post and bumper mount. All of our steering links are in that one. Bulkheads. Diffs. We've got our wishbones. Now these ain't cheap, these are about £32 a side, I think they are. However, if you carry on tuning in, I might have a little secret for you. We've got our top deck and our belts in that one. Bumper. Oh, that's nice. And our matte finish chassis. Also in the box, BD11 decals and some other reading material support package, it says on there. Now I'm in no rush to build this really. Like I said, the BD8 is going fairly well at the minute, just getting to grips with it, but. This, you just can't pass up on this sort of price, really. I know people will say that, ooh, you're spending so much on a car. However, for what it is and the price that I paid for it, I think there's, uh, I think it's a no-brainer. So it'd be really interesting to get this built, get it up and running at the local track, Blackpool and Fylde RCCC, and we'll see what we can do there. Now, I did say I'd let you into a little secret. So as I was saying, these wishbones, quite pricey. It was one of the things that was potentially putting me off. Actually, when you think about this, if these wishbones are £32 each, which is £128 for four wishbones, that's pretty much half price of what I paid for the chassis. Absolutely crazy. But anyway, the secret, I went on RC Mart and I purchased a full set of aftermarket 
arms for the BD-11 and four of them were the price of one pretty much. I think I paid £36. I did have to wait. They did come from overseas. However, well worth checking it out if you've got BD-11 or you're thinking about getting one if MB Models runs such a great deal again. Definitely check out RC Mart to see if you can get hold of some of these. So that's what's inside the box. Hopefully, shouldn't take me too long to get this built. Like I say, I'm not in no major rush to get it built. However, it will be nice to see this going around the track very soon. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a build video as well of this. And then obviously a shakedown video after. So if they are ready, those videos, I'll link them down in the description. If you do enjoy what you're watching, do all that good stuff for me. And in the meantime, to keep you busy, here's some more videos and I'll see you over there.